In this video, let's find out what happens when I work out for 30 days straight. Hello fellow geeks and welcome back to Running Geek Girl. My name is Heather and I am glad you are here today. You want to know a secret? Come closer. I hate strength training. I know it's not just me. I have talked to lots of other runners and they say that is not their favorite part of a training plan either. But I do know that it's something that I've got to do. And I used to be pretty good at it, but honestly, the thought of strength training just takes me right back to junior high when I was just clumsy, unathletic, not strong. It's a mess. So I've got to get back on the train of strength training and making sure that I can do it consistently because I know there's no way that I can really actually improve unless I do it. So I have made it a goal that for the next 30 days, I am going to be working out every single day. I have found this training plan here that is a 30 day workout challenge in order to help me decide what workouts I need to do every day. On the days that it says to do cross training, that's when I'm going to be doing my physical therapy exercises. And on the rest day, instead of taking an entire day of rest, I'm going to fit in a nice stretch session or yoga session in order to kind of balance that out, make sure that my body is recovering and make sure that I've rounded out the 30 days. So we're starting from zero, starting from scratch. I am out of shape, but I want to change that. So let's start working out for 30 days. Okay, today is Monday. So Mondays are for lower body. I am running real low on time, but I do have time to get in a five minute lower body workout. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go. Five minutes and the focus for this week is to look at form so even though I'm not always able to keep up with the reps that the instructor is going with I am concentrating on getting the right form and making sure that I'm doing it correctly I'm gonna worry about getting more reps in future weeks so a one my legs not as strong as I thought they were Tuesday we are doing upper body, so I'm doing an arm toning workout. And again, I'm gonna focus on form. So let's do this. Okay, my arms are dead now. Once upon a time, I could probably do a workout using eight pounders. I'm so out of shape arm-wise that I'm using three pounders now. I'm gonna get up to five pounders by the end of the month, I guarantee it. But right now my arms need a rest. Okay, we'll pick this back up tomorrow. So today's schedule calls for cross training and what we're going to be doing in lieu of doing more traditional cross training is I'm going to be doing the exercises that have been assigned to me by my physical therapist. So since we have cross training a couple of times a week, then uh, this way I make sure that I get done with this a couple of times a week. So let's get started. Okay, so there's another day down. Okay, it is Thursday. I have just come in from running in the rain. And today we are due for a full body workout. Like I said, I've just come in from the rain. I'm tired and I've got to sit kid at home, but I'm gonna try and squeeze in 15 minute workout as best I can. Here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so that's 15 minutes. I'm only four days into this and my everything hurts. It is Friday and that means it is time for a core workout. I really do not like core workouts, but we're gonna power through it, so let's go. is a lot weaker than I thought it was. That was rough. Okay, it is Saturday. We've just finished our long run. Today, the schedule calls for cross training, but we know that in lieu of that, we will be doing our physical therapy exercises. So let's get going. I think I've earned a shower. that time. Still not to where I was once upon a time, but getting better. So why is strength training so important for runners? Well, it's essential because it can strengthen your muscles and joints, which improve your speed as well as decreasing your risk of injury. So this means taking a more comprehensive approach to your fitness and thinking about things that are going to support your running muscles. This means things that you may not be thinking about right off the bat, like flexibility, balance, mobility, and strength. So you can prevent injury, you can run faster, and you can improve your running economy by just adding some extra exercises throughout the week that focus on upper body, lower body, and your core. That marks 15 out of 30 days done. Um, I don't know if I'm noticing a huge difference other than the fact that I'm adapting a little more easily after each workout. Um, I'm a little less sore than I was at the beginning. Of course, I just did 
lower body today, so I may be sore tomorrow because that's the one that always gets me. But I am uh, starting to get used to this and finding that I don't have to do a super long workout in order for me to get something done. So definitely a plus. So we're going to see where we are in 15 more days. Might have been a mistake to move up to the eights, but got to do it sometime. this morning, drove five and a half hours back home, and still did my PT exercises to stay on my 30-day challenge streak. It may have been a mistake. We'll see. Okay, hang on. How come runners need lower body strength training? Don't you get enough of that while you're running? Well, a lot of people assume that, and I was definitely one of those people. You think that because running is such a leg dominant activity that you don't have to do targeted lower body training. Lower body strength training is actually really important because it helps correct muscle imbalances and strengthens the muscles that you use for running to improve performance and prevent injuries. Even if you have tons of years of experience of running, you still need to focus on getting those lower body workouts in. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rise in the song to the highest bidder. Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last. Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back. You're never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow when I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes Not gonna lie, I did not want to work out today, but I forced myself to do it for just 15 minutes and it wasn't bad. I can get through 15 minutes, no problem. Now it's time to go for a run.
that's it. That's 30 days. Time to shower and then we'll talk about how it went. So 30 days later, how am I feeling and what have I learned from this? Well, I would say the number one thing that I learned from this is that I had been sorely neglecting my lower body. Um, like I mentioned earlier in the video, I was one of those people that thought that I didn't really need or think I would benefit from lower body workouts. And I was definitely wrong. And that is definitely one thing that I have learned through my physical therapy exercises was exactly how much imbalance and, and uh, just overall problems that I was having with the lower body in the areas that were surrounding the muscles that I needed for running. And so that was a huge takeaway from this. The second thing that I've learned is that I can actually show some improvement. I thought that I, there was no reason for me to keep up with the strength training because I wasn't really going to get a whole lot out of it. And the truth is, looking at where I was 30 days ago, in, in just one month, I have actually made some actual improvements. Now, I'm not saying that I'm buff or anything like that, but I will say that I ran two half marathons this month and did notice a difference even within a two-week period of doing constant exercise in that the hills were a little bit easier to tackle, that I could go longer without getting sore, that uh, I was feeling supported in different areas of the body that I hadn't before. And so in just 30 days of working on this, I was able to see some improvement and that was super encouraging. And the third and probably one of the biggest lessons that I learned from this is that this doesn't have to be time consuming. You'll see that at the beginning of the month, I even had to squeeze in a couple of five minute workouts just because there wasn't enough time in the day. But I've found that five minutes is better than nothing. And I found that I can see improvement by just doing 10 or 15 minute workouts when I can fit them in and then work on the longer workouts on the times when I do actually have the time to do it. So it doesn't take a lot of time every day just to get something done. So what changes am I going to make in the future due to what I have learned from this 30 day challenge? Well, number one, uh, I am going to continue to keep up with the strength training. I'm not going to let it lapse like I have before because I know now that it doesn't have to take a ton of time. I do want to extend the time of the workouts whenever I can and get into uh, 20 and 25 minute workouts if I have that time available. But I have found that just 10 to 15 minutes is able to get the job done if that's what I need to do. And another change that I'm going to make is to stop allowing myself to talk myself out of getting a workout in. I no longer have the excuse of I don't have time because I have proven this month that I do have the time to get it done even if I'm not doing this every single day. I may have to just adopt the attitude that I use while running which is don't think just run because if I stop and think about what I'm doing then uh, I, I may talk myself out of doing what I need to do and I think that's the same with this too. If I stop and think about do I have time to do this then I'll find a way to talk myself out of it. So if I just shut up and get the workout done, then it gets done and I can move on and I'm still going to benefit from it. So there you go. That is another 30 day challenge, 30 days of working out every single day. And this one was tough, but I was able to get through it. So I do have some more 30 day challenges that I'm going to get done on the channel. And if you have a 30 day challenge that you would like to see me do, why don't you let me know your ideas down in the comments below. While you are there, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. Just click that button and it keeps you up to date on all the content that I have coming out all the time. You could also give this video a big thumbs up. Both of those get me out to more runners just like you. Don't forget to follow me on social media. All the links are down in the description. You can find me across all platforms under the name Running Geek Girl. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm so glad you could be here. Remember to laugh hard, run fast, and be kind. I will see you later.